Dear friends, welcome to Mechatronics. Today's Make at Home project is Swift IR Sensor and IR Remote Tester. These are some important components used for the project. This is full circuit diagram, which may be powered from either USB port or 9 volts battery. The USB plug used in the project is to be checked and confirm the polarity. A power bank or personal computer or laptop may be used for testing. Read the polarity on the multimeter and mark the positive and negative pinouts. 38 kHz IR sensors are available in two sizes with various types of pinouts. Two types are tested here. A Berg strip with holes is cut to required length to hold any IR sensor for testing. Select small PCB, then fix the Berg strip and USB plug on either side of the PCB. Make suitable slots on PCB for fixing the USB plug. Position the USB plug on PCB properly and apply suitable glue for joining it with the PCB. Check Berg strip with all possible pinouts of IR sensors. Close the unused holes of Berg strip to make it foolproof. Now, the basic circuit is ready. Mark the power supply lines for easy identification while soldering the circuit. Select and connect 3-pin Rillamate connector. For positive, negative and signal output, useful while checking with external circuit. By disconnecting a shorting jumper, the signal is available to external circuit only. By connecting it, red LED indicates the status of signal. Now, insert one IR sensor in the Berg strip for testing. When connected to USB supply, the yellow LED glows and indicates the status of power supply to the circuit. Now, check the circuit. Using any IR remote, the red LED blinks based on the received signal. Now, change the IR sensor, again connect to USB supply, then test the IR sensor using any remote. To use 9 volts battery as power supply, A7805 is required to get 5 volts regulated voltage, and a clip is required for 9 volts battery. Connect them as shown in the circuit. A suitable size cardboard or foam sheet is fitted behind the PCB as insulation between soldered points and 9 volts battery. Connect the 9 volts battery to the clip and fix it below the cardboard along with the PCB. Now, the circuit is operating on 9 volts battery. Now, again test the circuit, using 9 volts battery, connect AIR sensor and test it, using IR remote, then change the IR sensor and test it again. Thanks for watching the video, more explanation and more videos are available at Simple Mechatronics website. Links for other projects are available in description below. Bye friends, see you in the next project.